Now that one I think was important. There was something about Satoko-chan's parents being in an accident. Oh no, that's the truth about the Shirakawa Park accident. So we can probably do this one then. Let me see if there's anything else. Or was the death... The death wasn't the Hojo family, right? Or was it? I'm not sure. Anyway, I know what we can do next. We can do the research in the truth about the park accident. Rika has developed a high fever. A very high fever. It's not flu season, nor a season for any type of contagious disease. I can only think of the suspicious experiments Rika has gone through. Maybe the fever is being caused by those. Her growth is rather slow compared to other children her age. Receiving mysterious shots and going through experiments every week, I'm sure her body is exhausted. I've asked the staff to go easy on her, but Rika herself is fearless and willing to go through anything. My husband, who should be admonishing her for that, truly believes their story, that it's crucial to the lives of over 2,000 villagers and takes her own daughter to that clinic every week. I'm the only one who's sincerely worried about her health. That's why I want to ask Dr. Irie to be a little more considerate towards Rika. Anyway, I have to talk to them about taking responsibility for this. Right after I called, a staff member came to pick Rika up to admit her to the clinic. As her guardian, I came with them. お菓子じゃないですか。これも先週にやったという何とか。リカはね、年相応の小さな女の子なんですよ。リカはね、年相応の小さな女の子なんですよ。リカは友達思いだから病気にかかった友達のためにと。わかっております。それに私たちの研究
That tells me the research they're working on with Rika isn't anything proper. とにかく私はリカの保護者です。あの子が何をどう返事しようとも今後は一切研究を手伝わせるつもりはありません。あらあら。まいまい、somebody's それはどうしてですかうちの子はあなたたちの実験動物ではないからですそう if I were to give you money? そう扱ったことなどございませんわよそれは大きな誤解ですわ。I'm a little startled. Dr. Yuri is a weak person who backs down under pressure. Chikano-san is different. I'm yelling at her, but she's not afraid at all. On the contrary, she's glaring daggers. It looks as if she's about to jump on me. Rika-chan's熱は風によるものですわ。私たちのせいだなんてとんでもない。私たちは安全や衛生には国立研究所クラスの注意を払ってます。失礼ですが。アルコール消毒もしないてでリカちゃんの手を引いて歩いているあなたより衛生的なくらいですわよそんなことは聞いていませんとにかくリカはあなたたちのおもちゃじゃないんですリカはもう二度とここへは連れてきませんあなたの一
because of their exaggerated story. Rika and my husband took their side, but it won't work on me. Anyhow, I must settle things with them right away, because Rika isn't their toy. I especially don't trust that woman called Ticano. Dr. Arias seems to me like he's still a doctor, but she doesn't. How can I describe her? I guess I can say the glow in her eyes is just unpleasant. She only sees Rika as a guinea pig. I can feel cruelty emitting from her. Neither my husband nor Rika have noticed that. I must protect her. As a mother, I must protect Rika. Oh boy, Rika's mom's about to get eliminated by the mountain dogs. あそこで喧嘩を買ってしまったら余計に話がこじれてしまうではありませんかあなたらしくもないですよそうですわねごめんなさい取り乱してしまってdid something happen to put her in a bad mood Irie wondered the heated conversation she just had didn't involve the Takano he knew Yeah, she's going to get eliminated for sure. Better keep an eye open when you go to bed. Look out for any mountain dogs patrolling the area. We might have this one. Rika's mother's suspicion should be... I think right... Enrique's father being an opportunist? Maybe? With the money thing? Okay, cool. The situation has changed. Enrique's father suddenly changed his mind about having her help out with the research. When Enrique came down with a high fever the other day, her mother, who wasn't happy about her daughter helping in the first place, finally blew up. I was hoping the father would convince her somehow. But now he seems to be on her side. Rika's father didn't get emotional like her mother, but he demanded that we make our research plans for Rika clear, and that we finish our research within three months at most, which was completely unrealistic. Research can't have a deadline. That's out of the question. We cultivate res results by grinding down our knowledge, skills, and time. To take time away from us is like taking away what's vital to live. How could he say such a thing? Curses, curses, curses. Rika's parents are only saying that because they don't know anything about our scientific research. However, as they are the parents of the Queen Carrier, we're completely lost about what to do. Tests and experiments on the Queen Carrier are an essential part of our research into Hinami's always syndrome. Her existence is the focal point of our work. To lose her would be like losing your sense of direction out in open water. Rika is providing her cooperation with her research, but the withdrawal of her guardian consent could be a setback. The situation is extremely dire. Rika's parents are only interested in finding a cure, but to me the cure is only a small part of solving the mystery. I can't let her go. Are our differences causing this predicament? And it's not only them. The same is happening between Irie and me. He thinks it's inevitable that we need to stop the research if Rika's parents refuse to consent. That's understandable. From the beginning, Irie never had the determination to solve the mysteries of Hinamizawa Syndrome. He won't back down from the research assertively, but he will passively by agreeing with Rika's parents. Is that the attitude of a researcher who's trying to unravel mysteries? He's the type of man who would step on my grandfather's research with his dirty feet. He's nothing but a coward who in this half -heart who's in this half-heartedly. He started to feel guilty over his past the moment he saw blood. He isn't qualified to even be involved in researching Hinamizawa syndrome. He's simply an outsider who joined in because of the client's demands. 
If I were a man, he wouldn't be here in the first place. While it's true he produced wonderful results with his development of a cure, he seems to think it's alright to close up shop with that. Is he planning to waste everything by being satisfied with just that tiny result? That man doesn't have any right to discard my grandfather's research. I can feel my guts boiling. No, no, no. Erie isn't the main person at fault. The one to blame here is that woman, Rika's mother. If she wasn't so selfish, this wouldn't have happened. Maybe it's partly my fault. I maintained trust through, uh, through the relationships and obligations all this time. But somehow Rika's mother and I didn't get along, so I didn't try to socialize with her. I thought it was fine because I got along with Rika and her father. But now the mother has influenced the father and changed his decision. What negligence. What a reversal. What a blunder. Irie is saying we should talk to the office in Tokyo about what to do next. But I know once the Tokyo office finds out about this, they'll order us to shut the research down. I've worked so hard to even get things started. If they hear anything negative, they'll put a stop to it. I've come too far to complete my grandfather's research. I can't let it be stopped. I still have a little time to think about this. I need to calm down and analyze this carefully. I've always come up with a great plan when I drink my favorite tea and bite my nails like this. I looked up at the ceiling and closed my eyes. As tenderly as possible, there were times where I couldn't find a solution, but someone else came up with a simple one. I've been able to overcome everything that's been thrown at me. I even endured the hell at that orphanage. So I will never let that woman get in the way. Settle your thoughts down. Think about this clearly. Be calm, Mio Takano. Someone else may come up with a better idea. But who? It's not me. It can't be Irie. Of course nobody from the village will do. Do I talk to someone in Tokyo? No, I can't. I don't want to owe anyone a favor. Even Kozumi-sensei would be disgusted if he finds out I can't solve such a simple matter by myself. Ah, I know. There's someone I can talk to nearby. They're supposed to be my subordinates, after all, so it's worth the try. I called the leader of the Mountain Dogs, Okonagi. The Mountain Dogs are my subordinates, but they're part of the Self-Defense Force, and I'm just a researcher. So we never really had a chance to interact. He did what he was supposed to, and I did what I was supposed to so I never even thought of discussing anything with him. But the Mountain Dogs are there to protect and support her research. Why didn't I think of talking to him before? Wow. You look scarier than ever before. <laughs> he used to speak standard Japanese, but now he has the Hinemizawa accent. I guess fitting into the region is the first thing they need to do. このままだと、情報感染者の協力が受けられなくなるばかりか、騒ぎ立てる母親によって研究所の所在が暴かれる危険性もある。山犬で何か手は打てる。I asked her Konigi rather directly. I'm not really expecting an answer. But ようかいしました。山犬で対応します。お時間をいただければきれいにやりますよ。対応？警察沙汰にならんようにしますんで、少々の準備は必要ですね。難しい仕事じゃありませんね。I'm startled. 
Rika's mother is my enemy, but I was thinking about how I could convince her. But the leader of the Mountain Dogs, the counterintelligence unit, whose duty is to protect the secret research, came up with a much simpler plan. Well, I wasn't gonna not kill her. Right. This is a very simple problem to him. Rika's mother has started to interfere with our research. Not only that, there's a chance she might talk to people about the Institute. So they'll eliminate her. それは確かにうまいってね。うまくやれるの？そのために来ている我々ですので、大臣の孫の誘拐以来、久々のお仕事になりますわ。Ah, I remember now. The mountain dogs are the ones who kidnapped the grandson of the minister of destruction, construction, and used that to blackmail him. It's been a few years, so I completely forgot about that. They did such a marvelous job then. That's right, that's right, that's right. I have the mountain dogs on my side. ただ殺すだけなら今夜にでもただそれでは騒ぎが大きくなりますんで周到に監視してから綺麗に蒸発してもらうようお膳立てします。just like a cat's eyes under a bright light I can feel something in the back of my eyes open up up until now I'd been racking my brain trying to figure out how to make her my ally or at least make her surrender or pacify her yet one order to this man and the problem's easily solved I feel like a bird taking its first flight. Ah, how easily I can get rid of that annoying mother. All I have to do is give an order. I feel grateful to Kozumi Sensei for giving me such terrific subordinates. What a wonderful power he's given me. I was taught that all people are equal. But if I have the power to control people's lives, then that means I'm more important than they are. What a feeling it is to be above others. All people are equal, but some people are more equal than others. <laughs> Does he mean only Rika Furude's mother? I can feel chills all over my body. If possible, maybe I should have her father disappear too. Rika is willing to help. She has no other relatives in the Fruit Day family. If both parents die, she has to depend on someone. The Area Institute can support her. We can give her status, money, and protection. We can give her everything. By doing so, maybe it's possible to make her one of us, rather than just having her as a helper. All my worries are melting away. Everything I was just concerned about seems like a joke now. I had such powerful subordinates all this time, yet I never realized. All my tension is being released and I'm starting to feel relaxed. I can feel myself regaining my cool head. I'm going to get rid of them. Rika's parents, that is. The Queen Carrier is my guinea pig. The guinea pig doesn't need parents. That's right. It's almost time for the Watanagashi Festival. If they die in that day, people will call it the Curse of Oyashirasama. The murder case from two years ago and the accident from last year are two separate incidents. Yet because they happened on the day of the Watanagashi, they're being called the Curse of Oyashirasama. Then if her parents' deaths occur on this year's Watanagashi, it'll be Oyashirasama's curse three years in a row. The miracle of Oyashirasama. Also the curse. I'm going to create them. 
this is a chance for me to ascend to godhood and toy with human fate. The incidents that occurred two years in a row are said to be a curse, but not everyone believes that. However, if it happens three years in a row, then everyone has to believe. Because that'll be a true curse that's created by me. I'll become Oyashiro Sama. My desire for revenge against God is coming together. When I started to laugh, Okonagi grinned to show his interest. <laughs> I can't just let her die. She'll be demoned away, and I'm going to enjoy dissecting her alive. Of course, I won't just have fun. This will be extremely useful for our research. After all, she's the previous queen carrier. Look at that devilish smile he has there. Oh yeah, we're about to do some real messed up stuff. Alright. Um, we're gonna stop there. Let me see. The third year Curse of Oyashiro Sama. I don't know if that means completed or, you know... The plans for it have started. Maybe we could do that. Help from the Queen Carrier, potentially. I'm not sure if Oishi's declared war, but we have done an execution order, I believe. Rika does have a high fever. I don't know if Tomataki has a slight fever. I haven't heard anything about that. I have a feeling it might be the red capsule, but we'll look into that next time. Hope you guys enjoyed so far. Um, I should mention if it sounds a little bit different, I did have a large TV next to me before that's now been taken down and I think the TV with its, you know, front panel might have been like absorbing or redirecting some sounds that are now just being coming straight back off of a, you know, just like a plain flat wall. I don't know if that's happening, but I, I feel like I can sort of hear it in my ear. So that might show up in the recording. Don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed so far. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time for some more Higurashi. Bye!